Hi everybody, it's Lib Thims, your human chemistry teacher. Today we're going to take a look at one of the big questions of human existence. So the question we want to ask today is, why is it that beautiful people tend to be dumb or ditzy? Conversely, why do smart people tend to be unattractive? Budapest is the capital of what European country? This might be a stupid question. Like, I thought Europe was a country. <laughs> Let's see. Budapest. Budapest? I never even heard of that. <laughs> so there we go. Beautiful person, dumb answer. Let's see another one. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some uh, people out there in our nation don't have maps, and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Or, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future. <laughs> All right, so there's a few humorous examples. Now, to clarify, it's not our intention to be bashing on beautiful people or, for that matter, intelligent people. But it is a statistical fact that attractiveness is inversely proportional to intelligence. Let's take a look at why. We can also restate this question in a mathematical sense, where attractiveness is inversely proportional to intelligence. For instance, in any random high school, the least physically attractive students, according to polled opinion, will typically be found in math class, and the most physically attractive students will be found in English class. Now let's take a look at an actual data set. The one shown here plots the average physical attractiveness A of the graduation photos of 95 female science majors at the University of Illinois at Chicago of the graduating years 1969 and 1972 against the intellectual difficulty I of the degrees obtained, which came in four varieties. Psychology P containing 41 students, Biology B with 20 students, Chemistry C with 13 students, and Mathematics M with 21 students. As we see, the easier majors, Psychology and Biology, contained more physically attractive students on average whereas the more intellectually difficult degrees, chemistry and mathematics, contained females who were lower in physical attractiveness. This is shown mathematically or graphically by the inverse ratio plot of attractiveness being inversely proportional to intelligence shown by the following expression. When people are asked to explain this beauty brains paradox, the typical answer is that from birth, people are pushed in different directions by society depending on how they look. One blogger named Gavin McGinnis puts it like this. If there's one universal truth nobody contends, it's that beautiful people are dumb. They don't need to study or read because everything gets handed to them on a silver platter. While the fat chicks are at home learning to be funny, and the nerds are reading science textbooks to be smart, the beautiful people are out partying because beautiful people are invited to everything. Another example comes from the movie 100 Girls, where the hottest girl in the movie, Cynthia, who is described as the Super Bowl of women, writes to herself, I'm not stupid. I know I got things easy. Guys will pretty much do anything for me because of the way I look. It's a curse. You see, nothing is a challenge for me. Everything's made easy. And if I ever actually do do something on my own, then everyone assumes I got there because of the way I look. It sucks. 
Now let's try to tackle this question from a scientific point of view, namely using the view that all of human existence can be boiled down to the interactions of photons coming from the sun driving the interactions between people. We'll do this using YouTuber My Name Is Not Dana as a case study who recently began making her first videos in a question of the day style format. Okay, uh, my question is if you could play a prank on anyone, what would you do and who would you choose to play the prank on? So there's one of My Name's Not Dana's videos and as we see she's very beautiful and likewise has that dumb brunette feel about her owing to the way she talks. Now let's take a look at her channel comments. Of the several hundred comments she's received, people are basically oblivious to the content of her videos commenting to the effect that she's either beautiful or hot. Etc. Etc. With even women commenting that she is so hot. Now, to explain this hotness in a physics sense, one has to think of all of human existence as the sum of one's total set of relationships had in one's lifetime, and each relationship in an individual case as being a chemical reaction. Now, in order for a human chemical reaction, such as the one shown here, where reactants A and B combine through a combination reaction to form the product AB, there has to be decrease in the energy of the system. I'm going from reactants to products. In this case, the type of energy is what's called Gibbs free energy, symbol G, named after American engineer Willard Gibbs. Gibbs free energy itself is a function of two variables, namely enthalpy and entropy, otherwise known as the heat content and the organizational content of the reaction, respectively. In short, these two types of energy, enthalpy and entropy, have to balance each other or compensate each other, so to add up energetically to create a favorable reaction, indicated by a decrease in the Gibbs free energy. If they don't, no reaction will occur and there will be no evolution in the system. Thus, when we see comments to the effect that someone is so hot, they're referring to enthalpic aspects of that person or that person's reactive, potentially reactive system. And when we hear comments to the effect that someone is so smart, they're referring to the organizational content or entropic aspects of that person. In conclusion, and without going into further mathematical detail, the reason that beauty and brains don't often come in the same package is that beauty and brains are two different types of energies, one being enthalpy and one being entropy involved in human chemical reactions. That's it for today's lessons. We'll see you next time. Live. I want to be loved by you alone. Boop, do I want to be kissed by you, just you, nobody else but you. I want to be kissed by you alone.